Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about GitHub Actions. Uh, I actually did another video on GitHub Actions that I will try and remember to link in the description. Uh, but this one is about a very specific mistake that I see happen a lot in GitHub Actions, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Anyway, let's jump into it. Uh, so what we're going to be talking about today is shell injection, and I think I actually did a video on that as well. Uh, basically, a shell injection is a way that user input can work its way into a command line and execute code that wasn't really expected. And usually you avoid this by quoting variables. Uh, this is an example step in a workflow, a GitHub Actions workflow. Uh, you know, there, there's other stuff here, but I cut it out because it wasn't interesting for explaining this. Uh, and it has a very subtle bug in it uh, that can lead to a shell injection. Now, I, I think in this case, it's actually technically safe because I don't believe github.actor can contain special characters, and I think the GitHub token is limited to base64, but you could imagine another scenario where these are, you know, maybe it's a commit message or it's, I don't know, branch name or something like that. And so you, well, I don't think the branch name can have single quotes in it either. Anyway, pretend like there's possibly other characters that can show up in here, and uh, I will show you a problem with this. Uh, the problem is that when these characters are substituted using this special syntax that GitHub Action uses for uh, inserting expressions, they are just a text substitution. So if you imagine in this case, let's just pretend for a second that secrets.github token was this value here. Uh, so <laughs> a, a bit of a contrived value, but if we were to take this value literally and substitute it into this expression down here, let's actually just uh, comment this out here, substitute this into this expression literally, you would see that you would have a single quoted string, then you would have a subshell, and then you would have another single quoted string. So it is susceptible a bit to shell injection. Now you might say, oh, well, what if you just change the quotes to double quotes? Well, then, of course, the malicious piece of code up here could just switch the quotes to the opposite quotes as well. So neither of those are really solutions to this problem. Fortunately, there is a very easy and straightforward way to fix this. Let's go back to the actual code. And that is to use environment variables. So in GitHub Actions, you would add your particular environment variables. Uh, let's just say Docker username is github.actor. And our Docker password is secrets.github token. Uh, GitHub underscore token. Get the exact value there. Uh, then you can safely quote this Docker username and Docker password. Uh, by using an environment variable here, this will be quoted properly. Your shell will not you know, allow double quotes to happen inside there. And you can kind of show this by, uh, you know, setting X to hello dollar sign or hello double quote world, for example. And if you do, uh, let's just say Python 3 and sys.argv and then a quoted dollar sign X, you'll see that you'll get a single argument and it's not going to splice it even though there's a double quote inside of it. Uh, and so this is the way that you can safely escape uh, potentially <laughs> malicious user input or other variables is by using environment variables and then double quoting that environment variable in your little run shell. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.